Hi, it's Annie. This is a short warm-up and meditation inspired by the butterfly. Enjoy. Welcome, everyone. We want to start with a warm-up. So rub your hands, activate them. Breathing. Warm up your hands, your fingers, and then let's stroke your head. And just connect the warmth of your hands to your head. And we'll talk a little more too about the anatomy of the butterfly, of course, and identification in this series. And then stroking down. The last series we focused on caterpillars and they look so different than the butterfly. So just stroking, they go through such a transformation. Stroke your body all over the place, your arms. Feeling the skin. And butterfly wings, I'm sure you felt them. If, certainly as a child, you probably caught a few and they're very powdery and they're actually scaly, kind of the way turtles are having scales and they replace their scales over and over. So it's a resilient kind of wing. And Likewise, our skin, we have like scales on our skin, our skin sloughs off skin. So as you're stroking your body, think of that renewing ability that your skin has, much like the butterfly, to slough off and have new layers of skin, new cells, new little scales of skin <laughs> that are forming as we do this. And then stroke down the back. Feel how calming that is. And then around the abdomen in a circle going clockwise to your left and around to the right. And slowing down as you stroke your belly. And then tap your heels a little bit to feel the ground and take your left hand at the bottom, right hand on top. Close your eyes for a moment. And feel butterfly is such a symbol for transformation of what is in flux, what's in change. We're always having new things every moment, every breath and letting go of old things. This process of new and letting go at the same time. So as you inhale, breathe in the new life with the breath and then exhaling that which you have processed. So inhaling and exhaling. And as you exhale, settle into the ground as if you're landing. And then as you inhale, you can feel yourself rising up. So rising and settling with the breath. And sometimes that alone is such a wonderful practice of just receiving on the inhale and letting go with the exhale and putting yourself in the middle in a place of balance. Sometimes when, especially when we're feeling needy, it might be a time to let go so that you can receive. It's the opposite of what we think. Yeah. And sometimes when it's hard to let go, it might be time to receive, you see. So as you play with your breath in this way of inhaling and exhaling, finding this balance of receiving and letting go is also a form of giving. If you're afraid that you won't have enough money or energy, sometimes letting go allows you to receive. All right. Thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing and have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.